Testing one, two, one, two. All right, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality today. Very exciting video, as we're going to go through the list of Steam VR to get you some really cool free games that you can try with your Oculus Meta Quest 2 and also your HP Reverb D2 and other PC VR headsets. Now, by the way, we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb D2, guys courtesy of HP, so they will be the ones sending this to you, as well as a brand new pair of cyber shoes, ooh, and a $50 voucher of keys that you can redeem with your MetaQuest store, or your SteamVR store, or your Viveport store, it'll be totally up to you, and other game keys as well, so do make sure to enable your bell after you subscribe, so you get notified when to enter and how to enter this competition upon hitting the 9 thousand subscribers Woo! and link down below by the way we have another competition going at the moment with vrcover.com two lucky winners will be picked on december 28 where you can go to the website pick anything you want absolutely anything you want up to cap to 29 us dollars and 29 euros all right guys so let's transition over to the list of games and do look do watch until the end as one of our uh, viewers and subscribers also did comment and let us some um some some things that we should be trying so we did mention some of his things too so do leave a comment below by the way if uh you know there are any apps that that, that are free that you enjoy that you think other people should basically try do please leave a comment below and timestamps also below available as well so lumberjack is a great game to try out um it's it's especially great for those who have an hp reverb d2 and who want to get used to learning how to throw stuff using the HP Reverb G2 controllers because guys you do need a pair of Mambo grips for the HP Reverb G2 believe me it will be very hard for you to throw stuff using this game with the HP Reverb G2 however you can use it probably with your MetaQuest or your Pico Neo 3 Pro or HTC Vive or any other VR headset I, I think without a problem except if you have the uh, HTC Vive Pro and you have the ones I think it will be quite difficult to use the ones maybe but this is a great game, you know, especially for, for demos. There's no motion sickness in this thing. It's good fun. You're probably not going to stay in there for very long, but it's just, it's just a really good fun game. I mean, the graphics are very basic. The gameplay is very basic, but it is just good fun. So what can I tell you? Definitely worth a try. If I were you, it's absolutely free. You're not going to lose any money anyway, and it's not a big file to download. It'll be very, very fast to download this. It's called Lumberjack VR. Definitely worth a check out for sure. Now, Cocodal VR is a very, by the way, if you buy the Mammoth Grips, do use the promo code VR Essentials, link in the description below, so we can get a kickback as well, as, so that you can support the channel, it'll be really awesome. Cocodal VR is all about World War II, all about education in VR. I think this is a great app, especially for those who are looking to create an app, for example, for schools or educational purposes, as to what you can do with VR, because First of all, you'll be immersed in a cinema where you get to watch a little movie for you know a, few, a couple of minutes, and then they immerse you within the actual world. They rebuilt a 3D structure, uh, all in 3D, 3, uh, VR 360, where you actually get to relive what happened during this specific time in uh, during the World War. So. I think it's very interesting. It just goes to show how powerful VR is in terms of what you can do, how you can reconstruct, uh, you know, things in virtual reality in terms of using VR to 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 teach people as to what it was like, give them a sense of as as to what it really was like. Sorry, within these environments during these specific times, because of course there isn't just World War. There's a whole bunch of different. Uh, points in history that you could go back into um, and teach students or teach people as to what it's like and really feel what it's like not just you know give them a book and 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 that's it so i think this is very interesting uh do worth a check out you won't stay in there very long maybe an hour maybe two three hours but really worth you know taking a look especially if you like history uh about world war and all this kind of stuff the next app is Dundun. Now, Dundun is quite interesting. It's very quirky. Um, definitely great for, I would say, demos. Uh, you get to go on an exploration, like a bit like a Dali-esque kind of world. And you also get to solve some puzzles. So very colorful. A lot of different worlds to look at. Definitely something that you're not going to be in there for long either. Maybe an hour, I'd say, at most. Uh, or maybe 45 minutes because the puzzles are not that very difficult to solve to be honest with you but it's just good fun to be in there it's just you know 
especially if you're not used to VR, you want to build a little bit some neck muscles or you want to see what it's like to be in VR, you don't want to have motion sickness and all these kind of things. And at the same time, you you know, you want to uh, know what it's like to, to feel some kind of awe, especially when you're not used to VR at all, you know, in the first times, then this is a great little app to go and check out for sure. So Dun Dun or Dun Dun VR, not quite sure how to pronounce it properly, but you know, very cool app to go and check out. The next app, of course, is Allspace VR now. Allspace is more well known for being one of the most uh, famous platforms where there's a lot of events happening there in VR, a lot of educational events, uh, a lot of events, uh, charitable events, a lot of uh, entertainment events, games you can play with people. The community is pretty large. It's owned by Microsoft, by the way. So there's a very large community, a lot of worlds. This is really the Metaverse version 1.0, I would say, uh, because there's a lot you can do, a lot of different places you can travel in, a lot of people that you can meet. There aren't that many kids. So definitely very safe to be in there, by the way. Um, but of course, because it's owned by Microsoft, if you don't like to be recorded, your conversation recorded, and all these kind of things, then maybe it's not for you. But if you don't mind, you know, having Big Brother uh, recording you or, or whatever, supervising you or uh, seeing what you're doing and all these kind of things, then, you know, by all means, go into Allspace VR. I think your data will be much better protected inside of uh, Allspace compared to, let's say, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, Meta, Meta and, and Horizon and all this, this is really not a place that you would want to go and hang out in. Uh, so I think Allspace VR is definitely much safer than anything that has to do with Meta FYI. And by the way, if you are using the Oculus Meta Quest 2, you do need a Facebook account. Do remember that they do record everything that you do and they do use subliminal tactics in order to influence your buying habits and your lifestyle choices. Just FYI, little disclaimer there. The other app that I think is very worth uh, going into and checking out is Exogen VR, uh, which provides you the ability to have a musical experience. There, there's no, you you won't get to do any specific gameplay per se. Uh, it's more being led into the experience. A lot of music in there, a lot of flashy graphics, a lot of special effects stuff going on. I mean, it's definitely very immersive. It doesn't last very long, maybe maybe five minutes, maybe seven, eight minutes, I don't know, around there, under 10 minutes, I think, or under 15 minutes for sure. Um, but it's very immersive, very meditational, very relaxing. I had a really nice experience in there. So, you know, I definitely recommend going in there. And by the way, guys, all the lists of the apps, you know, I've tried all the games, of course, and do enable the bear as next week, I will post more uh, videos about this. Due to popular demands, you guys did smash more than 30 likes. So, as I promised, I will do another one. If you smash another 30 likes, I will do a follow-up video tomorrow. If you smash 20 likes, I will do a follow-up video next week with more free games from the Steam VR platform for your Oculus Meta Quest 2, HP Reverb G2, and other PC VR headsets. The next game on the list before we go to the uh, recommendation by one of the subscribers on the channel is Fovos. VR. Now, Fovos VR is for those who want to know what it's like to have a little bit of a frill or chill in virtual reality that is within a safe environment, I would say, because basically all you have to do is shoot some zombies. Now, I have to admit that for those who are not used to horror kind of stuff, you're definitely going to feel the chills for sure. Uh, I didn't try the car bit, but uh, I was thrown in the middle of a field and basically you have, you'll have a horde of zombies coming towards you. So uh, if you're not comfortable to this kind of stuff, I think especially before you spend money on like After the Fall or walk, uh, Saint and Sinners, you know, The Walking Dead and all these kind of things, then I think this is definitely the kind of VR experience you definitely want to download because it's free. It's going to be the same genre, you know, the same horror kind of genre. Although you could do Phasmobia as well, but it's not zombie zombie. I mean, it is zombie, but th this is more like, a, you know, a zombie horde coming towards you. So before you spend your money on After the Fall and, you know, Walking Dead Saint and Sinners and all this, then I think, you know, give this a try. See whether it's something you'll be comfortable with because After the Fall and Walking Dead, uh, the graphics, of course, are much better. The gameplay is much better. But this already gives you a taste as to what it would be like because zombies, the music isn't great. You know, the special effects is, uh, you know, things coming towards you like dead things. And 
So this already will give you a sense as to what it would be like when you would download or pay money to get those kind of apps that are a little bit more elaborate, a little bit more well-made, but at the same time, you know, fall within the same genre. So for sure, Phobos VR is definitely recommendable. I would say, um, you know, for people who want that kind of first-time experience of zombies in virtual reality. Now we're going to move on to our subscriber uh, who recommended... Um, who recommended this app? Uh, let me go to the actual video and read the comment, which was uh, last week's video. So let me just find the video. Here we go. Here it is. Uh, so I'd like to thank uh, Brad. Let me just make it bigger. Uh, Brad, who said, Nice, though I certainly, because last week we did another video uh, called Free Steam VR Games for Oculus Metal Quest 2 and PC VR for 2022. Um, so nice, though I certainly thought you'd mention air car when it came to relaxation, but I've enjoyed playing after H and Tower VR as well. Otherwise, Lo-Fi Lounge, uh, Virtual Cast and All Space VR all exist also, I suppose. Um, so by the way, so we're going to look at air car VR. By the way, I did try after H, but it, there weren't many people in there, so I don't really recommend it personally for me. I mean, it wasn't for me, so... Uh, up to you guys if you want to try it, but I didn't mention it on the channel today. And Tower VR did not work, it actually crashed a lot of times, so I'm not quite sure what's happening, whether it's with the HP Reverb G2 only it crashes, or other PC VR titles. Do leave a comment below guys, let me know, and also do leave a comment below with any other titles you want to be mentioned in next week's video or tomorrow's video, uh, depending whether we smash 30 likes or 20 likes. Uh, so let's go to the, to the app here, here we go. So this is uh, Air Car VR. Now I have to say it's not too bad at all. Definitely, definitely very nice experience. Very relaxing. You get to basically fly a spaceship not very quickly. However, you don't just get you don't you don't just go left, right, up and down. You also will roll over. So if you are prone to motion sickness, be very very cautious about this app because. You can use it for demos, but believe me, mm, be very careful, very careful, very careful. Um, and also, if you have an HP Reverb G2, make sure to change the binding of this app because it won't work as you launch it from the get-go. Make sure after you launch it to go straight into the bindings, change the bindings, and choose the HP Reverb G2 bindings. Otherwise, it simply won't work. But the graphics are very nice. The lighting is very good. The sound is very good, very relaxing. You'll definitely stay in there for half an hour without knowing where time went. For sure, very good. But by the way, talking about motion sickness and all these kind of things, uh, if you are sensitive to lighting, Make sure that in Dun Dun VR, um, you know, in between scenes, it will go very bright. So do close your eyes in between scenes if you are sensitive to light. And also in Exogen VR, if you have epilepsy or all these kind of things, I would definitely avoid uh, ex Exogen because Exogen has so many different bright lights and graphics happening inside of it. Um, you know, I mean, look at this. It's it's. It's very bright, very, you know, electronic, electronic lighting and all these kind of flashes and everything. So do be cautious if you have epilepsy or you're, you're photosensitive to any, the, only, any, oh man, I can't talk because it's the second time I've done the video today because I ran out of juice in my microphone. Yes, I still have juice in my microphone, so all good uh, for the moment. Um, but yeah, for sure. So do be very cautious, as I mentioned, if you're photosensitive to all this kind of stuff. All right, so guys, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to do some um, some some uh, subscriber welcome because I freaking love you guys. It's thanks to you that this channel keeps growing. So let's just welcome some subscribers to the channel. Let me just transition over first and then let's go to here. So I'd like to welcome ADC Internet SEO, Fred Ganner, Krista Harrickson, Mike Foley, David Mendez, Stephen Poling, Roy CP, Joe Han, uh, Baupsis6, and that box. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really can't thank you enough. You guys are super, super awesome. Really, thank you so much. We're almost at 9,000 subscribers. Guys, we're going to read some comments in just a moment. But guys, do remember that we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2, a brand new pair of cyber shoes, $50 voucher to your MetaQuest store, as well as Vive Port store or Steam VR store, up to you how you spend the money. And at the moment, on December 28th, we will also announce the winner 
of the VR cover and so you'll be able two people will be able to go to the website and choose anything absolutely anything uh capped to 29 US dollars and 29 euros and guys for the HP Reverb D2 we will announce how to enter this competition upon hitting the 9,000 subscribers so do make sure to hit your enable bell after you subscribe for that video so you know how to enter that competition all right so quickly let's go and check out some of the comments that you guys have left on yesterday's video which was all about the most shocking video on SteamVR, I couldn't believe it. I hope SteamVR take it down because frankly, this is just the most shocking app that we've ever seen. So Covered Puppy 2 said, I have mixed feelings about this adult related VR content. And while I support Steam in providing this type of content, I do think that Steam needs better verification of age restricted materials. Seems like any other age person can easily lie to obtain it. By the way, I sent you an email on the Decker Gear refund situation. Did you receive it? Yes, Covered Puppy 2, we did receive it. And guys, if anyone has had any issues with Decker Gear in receiving the refunds, please send us an email at ask.info at vressentials.io with an email attaching a screenshot of the email requesting for your refund by Decker Gear so we can do a video so please send us an email with your refund to Decker Gear if you did not receive your refund by Decker Gear thank you very much Bob says six says I wouldn't have heard of it if you didn't show it I'm afraid that by pointing it you may have more you may make it more popular well you might be right thank you very much for your comment really appreciate it Bob says six uh, creative Ian says now it is shocking by in 10 20 years it might become boring well, you know, you're absolutely right. It is very true. It could become boring by then, but I hope not. I hope this kind of stuff just gets taken out and not even uploaded full stop. Cracker says, what the F is wrong with this world? You can guarantee those using this are having a profile built on them if they don't already have one. Well, very possible. It is, I mean, I was just so shocked by this app. It's just crazy. I can't believe that, you know, SteamVR allowed it to be up and... And, and kids can download it. It's just shocking. Guys, do go and check out the video. Uh, you have to be 18 and above to be able to watch that video. And guys, also, if you are curious about the business production, marketing and financing uh, part of the virtual of the metaverse, then do go and check out also uh, Meta Business Podcast. We spoke to the guys from Old Ravens. Um, about Carlin the Reaper Man as a how to get a VR game on the Oculus Meta Quest 2 store and find announcement. Very cool video, so do go and check that out. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, let me just transition over. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Guys, another reminder, we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP. Brand new pair of Cyber Shoes sponsored by Cyber Shoes. $50 voucher get to game keys that you can redeem on your Meta Quest store. Steam VR or Vive Ball Store and more game keys and more and the VR cover link in the description below to go and enter that vrcover.com's uh, accessory competition that we'll be announcing with two winners on December 28th. So guys, I'll see you in the comments below. Bye for now. See another video very soon as well. Bye-bye.